I really don't know who I am, but I sure know who I want to be. Follow the saying, making your passion your profession. When work comes play, I can categorically say I have the best job in the world. My name is Alex. You know, say money no be problem. Honest on the block. All right, I'm back again. Do you know what time it is? Straight up. All right, what's up? Listen. The nature of my job takes me out at odd hours. I mean, I could be up all night, I'm filming and recording, I'm being at the show, probably hosting or something. So technically, I get to be hungry. But hey, for some reason, I never get to eat during the day until maybe 12 midnight. But it's really bad, never eat at midnight. Yeah, because I've stopped. Well, well, no, I haven't. All right, so uh, I've got a good friend of mine. Um, I've known him for quite a while. He was uh, a colleague of mine who was a producer on, um, on the TV platform that I worked in the past. Uh, but for some reason, he hasn't changed. Yeah. When you tell him you were supposed to meet up for 11 p.m., just add an hour to it. But if you call him, you're, re you're ready by 11 p.m. No, he'll tell you he's on his way as well. He'll be, he'll be there soon, but that's a pretty big lie. So in my mind, I thought he had changed. Because in fact, he works now on film, filming uh, movies and stuff, but he hasn't really changed. I had to wait, wait, call him endlessly, stop picking at some point, and I was running nuts. Then he shows up. Crazy dude, Theo. And of course, a sneezer came through to hang out as well, and a couple of other guys who I just I met for the first time. We hang, we hang out at some place in VI, some pretty new club. And you know what? I am VIP, you know what I'm saying? I walk in the club, they announce my name, the DJ plays the kind of music I like because it's me, you know what I'm saying? And they put my name on the ceiling. Cause I'm bad like that. Well, yeah. So uh, after after uh, we were done hanging out, everyone went home. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. But hey, I uh, try to hang out somewhere else because it was just three three a.m. and the next morning three three thirty there about. I try to hang out somewhere else, but hey. It was pretty packed, yeah. So I went back home to sleep because I had a busy next morning. It was gonna be the wedding of my buddy, yay! So I arrived at the venue for the engagement pretty, really late, but I, I mean, later, better later than never. As soon as I got there, it was time to dobale. You, you already know what I mean. It's time to, it's time to prostrate, uh, you know, because you're seeing the hand in marriage of a lady who, by the way, is not your about by your state. So I was really wondering, what do I do to have to prostrate? I thought that was your culture. No, you don't tell me. Yes, they didn't tell me. They don't jump fast now. Oh no, she's saying you're stopping me. I'm on your last day. Anyway, we prostrated, and uh, that was good. And afterwards, we had to prepare to head to the church because we were running late as well. For some reason, we're always late. Why? We're late. You have to head to the church. And for some reason, I never know how to know the time. I've never, in fact, I, as I speak, I still can't know the time to save my life. So the guy that made the shirt I was wearing had uh, to come out to so help, uh, help, help out with nothing of the time. And, well, well, I was looking slick as always, you know what I'm saying? Looking super dapper and stuff afterwards. Yeah, shout out to the guy. Exclusive I can't remember his name. Okay. Oh. I need to fly high above the sky. I need you now, now. You gon' need me later. He needs a fat purse. Of course, she wants for better or for worse. Just this morning, I realized we all need something. So we went to the church. We got we arrived at the church, our pictures uh, were taken and you know we had to file out at the groomsmen, 
you know, you and I had the, well, one of the ladies on the bridal train who was, you know what I'm saying, remember? held my hand and stuff. I thought I was gonna, she'll be like, we'll go be next, and, you know what I'm saying, yeah, next to get married. Yeah, but I'm married to my job, true love story, unfortunately. Sorry. She's really, really pretty, been holding. I've got dimples too. You miss your papa, that's why you cry. I need to meet them, you need to hold him. Like I need a new car, we all need Jesus. So we're done with the church. Uh, kiss the human, kiss the bride. Mwah. Great. Uh, we headed straight to the reception. But we were really hungry, myself and his dad, so we had to stop by to get food. And I want that sauce. Get out. I want the shrimps, man. I want shrimps as well. And guess what? That's how I roll, man. Guess who I saw? No, guess. I'll leave it. I'll allow you to think for a second. Think. Who? You don't know? Okay, good. I'll tell you. I saw my old crush. But I think she's uh, she's already taken now. Plus, some other guy. Yeah. Some big guy like that. It's okay. Sorry. Well, don't ask me what happened. We did not break up. We never went out. But she was just my crush. I really liked her because she got a great personality. Yeah, so I wish her good luck with her fiancé. Yeah. Don't let, you know, it's a lie. When you actually say that, you wish someone good luck in their married soul life. When you really like the person, that's a lie. But I wish her good luck. Nah, I'm being serious. I'm the only real guy who says that with all sincerity. Wish her good luck. She's my dream, a wonder of a woman, impossible to fault. That's the problem, cause she knows it. It was She's time for the red carpet. Red carpet uh, at the reception. But hey, I got to kick start the show with the red carpet welcoming the guests and stuff. And it was amazing. I had a great time. We're live here at the red carpet welcoming the guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Adam. Stay with us. Do not blink. And this is the holy matrimony between Fabulous and Clara. <laughs> then I had to race to another wedding. Which, by the way, it was sort of like a reunion for my old friends. <laughs> <laughs> Their sister's wedding. So hey. But the good thing is, I'm now a star, you know what I'm saying? I'm a TV star. So they look at me from with a different eye. You get me? They're all engineers, they all work, they work in different uh, oil firms and stuff. But I'm a TV star. I get paid to talk. Wow. Amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Right after uh, Gafar's uh, sister's wedding, it was time for Real Radio launch. Now, by the way, Real Radio, uh, the CEO, Uche, is a great friend of mine, phenomenally, absolutely fantastic. Of course, she's really pretty. That's right, that's just at that part. And uh, on, on the black carpet, I stumbled on Gabriel Aflana, who's also my buddy, phenomenal actor and also a great singer. Uh, Color Tunes, the CEO's role, Color Wadeja was also there. Uh, Shola, who, by the way, is an honor personality to be radio. Definitely, his show, he invited us over. Apart from which so we all came to support. And I also saw Mimi. Mimi, she used to work for BDFM. I'm a Really? 
Also, cool DJ Jimmy Jack came through. Come here, come back here. Uh, could you, yeah, Jimmy Jack came through, and uh, a lot of people went with there to support. I mean, and, and for me, apart from the fact that, that there was good music, DJ was good, Michael Balafalana's performance, I thought it was uh, pretty okay as well. So, I mean, he can juggle both as an actor and also as a singer. <laughs> Money in abundance, I'm on one. Could it be the Henny or the Ganja? Deuces, chillin', I'm feelin' like Chris Breezy. Poppin' like 10 bottles, I'm tellin' them shit seize. Believe me, I let my cash make noise. So yes, a lot of people came through. Uh, let's just do a quick rundown from DJ Jimmy Jazz, Uche, the CEO of Real Radio, Mimi, uh, as well. Um, Shola on a personality that works for Real Radio, Gala Tunes. And yeah, it was, it was a great party, and I just had to go home, sleep, and that wrapped up my day for me. Two weddings and the radio launch on air, online radio launch was good, was a great thing. Ding. West on a bad guy peak, yeah. Bank head on a bad guy peak, yeah. Stone records on a bad guy peak, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Ten bottles of rose at this clinic, shit, man. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy.